I'm Alfred. Welcome back to the actual final episode of Halo ODST. Unless I... Uh... Okay. As I said earlier, one of these posters is actually the Traveler from Destiny. So I finally got some fucking water and I drank some. So I guess I have to lead, even though I'm the rookie? Okay, whatever. It's nice that I finally get to play in the day. You know, sunrise. New beginnings. All that shit. We have a situation. Also, this is kind of amusing. The mythological well not mythological, it's kind of Catholic Church myths. The purpose of Virgil in Dante's Inferno is to escort Dante, and now I am escorting Virgil. Fuck, that turret has us pinned. We can't advance. Flank the watchtower, trooper. Take it out. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. You know, I feel like I don't get enough credit in this game. Oh, I forgot to kill him. That's embarrassing. I think the rookie gets killed unceremoniously off screen. Because minor spoilers, but I think every other member of the cast of ODST is actually turned into a uh, Spartan. Because <clears throat> Spartan 2s are the special OC do not steal boys like Chief, who are very rare. Whereas Spartan 3s are the ones that you can actually make those use of. That's everyone in Reach, you know, the more generic type, more common. Less cool. That's the last of them. Let's move. Which means that they're better to write fan fiction about because being less Water unique, you look highway. like less of a Mary Sue. Way out of the city. Um, that thing move any faster? But in Halo 5, they introduce Spartan Fours. Who are just humans wearing. Like, they're humans who are on steroids that are wearing the armor. And they're not trained from birth, but they're still badasses. Because, you know, that shit's all good tech. And the cast of Halo 3 ODST are actually all Spartan 4s, except for the rookie, who is unceremoniously killed off screen. This and that light. is so pathetic. An right through here. That's how you That's how you send away, like, the protagonist of this game. And I know that he has well, the least the developed character because he never space. actually fucking says anything. But, man, I like the rookie a lot. I identify with him very strongly. Just a regular guy with. Okay, we're all set. This big it, dumb rookie. space jihad. Like, bro, give me some more credit. Probably gonna drop my gun there. That's annoying. ASMR. When did this happen? They started showing up right before I went underground. Oh, I'm sorry. I was a little busy making sure perfume over here didn't take around and blow us all up. Eddie Buck, always thinking with his gun. You haven't changed one bit. They hate both of these characters. What about you? Oh, so full of big only secrets. Couldn't even give a guy a yes or no answer. That's not fair. Oh, you got that right. I never thought I'd see you again. Yeah? Well, here I am. I literally don't care. Though. We need to move now. Were you too busy to plan our exit? I stole a phantom, yes, thank you. I hid it in the shipyards down the highway. But I only have one for two, so that thing's gonna have to send me the line. The engineer, where did it go? They probably got sick of that conversation. I know I did. Aw, he's cute. I love you, Virgil. Keep me covered. My advice, rookie. You ever fall for one? Make sure she's got both. Okay. 
Oh. Take the wheel, rookie. All right, shotgun. Oh yeah. Remember this level. Sorry, I keep fucking with my mic. That probably sounds like shit. Oh, word? We got Warhawks? Oh, shut up. I'll drive you. You big baby. Okay. I apologize for this noise. Okay. Hopefully that should be fine. Hey, it's a Halo game, so it has to end with you driving this big dumb truck out. Why are there ramps here? Oh, there. You know what? That's actually clever. Because those obviously look like ramps. But, like, this is a two lane highway. You know that some people are just fucking ramping off of those things. Like, come on. Virgil, you, who apparently designed and built this city all by yourself. Parked a uh, warthog on the guy I was supposed to loot. That was a dumb mistake. Hey. <clears throat> So this is interesting. This is a warthog that does not have a gun. It's just for carrying people. And it doesn't have a prompt back here, but you can actually still sit in it. And you can shoot. I liked it. It's cute. Buck got flipped. I'm just trying to catch up. So yeah, it seats, um, I think it seats five people. It seats more than a normal Warthog, which is, it makes sense. I think it's also a little faster. And obviously people can still use their guns and shoot out of the side as you see Buck doing now. What, we have her covered? Okay, if you say so. So yeah, I've always liked this thing. I love um, big chunky escorts. Or excuse me, not escorts. Oh god. Uh, vehicles. That can permit a player to uh, cart many friends. Hey, yep. I've always loved being able to move many friends at once. Okay. Fuck, you uh just staying in there? Okay. I'll get out of the next one because I need to refill my health points. Okay, yeah, like look at this. This is an overpass. But look at how this is so obviously a ramp. Like, think about this as this is an actual city. You see this? Dude, you're gonna go over that. It's... Oh god, you're kidding. Well. That didn't go... as planned. Hey, look at that. I didn't blow it up. Through dumb luck, I prevail. Born lucky, that's me. Yep. Now I'll get slooped up here. Oh, yay, bugs. You know, Buck, how about you shoot him? And I'll drive the Jeep. Oh my god, I couldn't get out because it was on the side there. That's stupid. Alright, a little help. Are we going, by the way? Or are we waiting on these jackasses? So, Virgil, you're telling me that it's impossible for this door to be open while there are bugs behind you? No, you're on Africa, right? On the planet Earth? 
Like, no one talks about how the actual dominant species on Earth should technically be considered bugs because there's just so fucking many of them. Like, no one talks about that. Everyone wants to talk to humans. Why wouldn't aliens want to look at ants, you know? Ants are able to uh, accomplish very large building projects relative to their scale with very little interpersonal communication. Like, consider what an ant tower looks like to an ant, you know? Oh, Jesus. That's the size of a... That's the size of a skyscraper. Like, imagine if you were able to build a skyscraper without talking to people, and everyone just knew what they were supposed to do and where they are supposed to go. Like, that's bananas. Alright, Buck, get in. Concentrate on driving. I got this. I always love the little catch sound of a uh, grenade going. Oh, everything's empty. Great. We're stuck up here. Hey, Virgil. You got any guns in there? No? Okay. Is that a break? It is. You can break a warthog. That's A-K-E, not E-A-K. And then you can slow a warthog down. Yeah! I love seeing grunts and ghosts. So rare is it that they actually get uh, high artillery that I kind of love seeing them with it. Like every time I see a grunt with a fuel rod cannon, I love that. I just love seeing those little guys go crazy. Hey, hold up! It's a gauss hog! Let's change vehicles! Gauss hog. Same That's what he said. You drive, I'll shoot. He said Gauss hog change vehicles. So um, I think I'll these might have shown up in Reach, and I don't remember if they show up in Two. Ready to rock. Um. Yeah, this is the Gauss cannon that appeared earlier. That giant, big fucking. Well, the big fuck you cannon. Uh, mounted on the back of a uh, warthog. And another one. Yeah, so you can see why the, the last level is actually not too difficult, even on Lasso. Because you get um, vehicles which already don't regenerate health, but they take much more damage already. And you get AI buddies. Oh, jeez. Wow, I just got low down. So yeah, it is still difficult. It's the last level of a big shooter. Drinking. Thirsty boy gets hydrated. Yeah, the Gauss hog and all the heavy artillery you get is certainly able to help close the uh, close the distance. Holy shit, I just got the achievement a heap of medals. Collect 4,000 playlist medals. Alright, probably shouldn't ram them. Especially considering I'm in the driver's seat. Oh god, oh god. Oh, I made it. Right, now as long as I get this thing open, I'm fine, right? What the hell keeps hitting me? <laughs> oh, because of the shields, it just bounces me away. Oh, and there's a car exploding underneath me. That says nine. I don't think I. I don't really think I've gone through ten of these checkpoints. I see it. Must have dropped off from one of those cruisers. Just keep driving. It hasn't spotted us. Oh, this this checkpoint's difficult. You always, you always know you got a hard you got a hard bit ahead of you when you hear a a voice line that you heard a lot. Keep driving, hasn't spotted us. Just dropped off on one of those cruisers. There weren't as many confident last night. I've heard that voice line a great deal. It wasn't too difficult though. I think I got oh wow. Hello, beautiful. Yep. I 
Virgil, why aren't you in this? Like, why can't our... Why can't our AI just be a sapient tank? Like, ghost tank. I think that's what that's called. Um, yeah, there's this Silver Age comic called Ghost Tank. It's about a, uh, a dude who has to protect... So, a guy was in the Civil War, right? And, uh, he was a confederate in the Civil War. And, uh, he... he died. Like a coward, defending slavery, being a white supremacist, etc, etc. And so the God of War forced him to possess a tank in World War II. To atone for his crimes in World War... Or, or in the Civil War, for, you know, being on the wrong side of history and just generally being a douchebag. And so, in the comic Ghost Tank, it's about that guy and about how he has to be a tank in World War II. And I think one of his ancestors is driving him. I think that's what it's called. Nope, that still says nine. But it looks like we're getting to the home stretch though, so I feel good about that. I don't really need that. So I'll just make sure that no one else can use it. I'm probably going to say this in a future past LP. Salt carrier. Dead o'clock high. The size of it. But um If you look at Halo, assuming that everyone has a fetish for military spending, it changes your perception of the game, but not by much. Because yeah, everyone pipping like, oh yeah, Scorpion cost $10 billion. You know, like, every single Spartan was several trillion dollars spent to fucking get this thing up and running. Like, every single, every, every single one, if someone's just jacking it, it makes so much more sense. Uh, the character is called Haunted Tank, and it was in the DC Comics War Anthology title, uh, G.I. Combat. Did I die? No, I didn't. Yeah, I literally just tabbed out to go Google it. I'm still recording, right? Tab out to go check that. I am. Nice. Okay. It's charging its excavation beam. But the dig site's on the other side of the city. All right. I really wish that. Halo was subtitled better. Like, it would make me appreciate the story more. Because, I mean, obviously I appreciate it now. More with all the fucking lore that I'm spitting. But as a kid, I didn't give a shit about the story. And it was only when I was a teenager and I was, like, getting in more and I was, like, played Reach and I started reading the books and the comics and, like... And then, the fact that the games aren't subtitles started to bug me. There's ten billion dollars right there. Oh, guns. I, uh, I need these. My old friend. My guiding unit. Man, if I go through this whole game... And I find oh, there's that fucking scarab. No, they're gonna burn this city and then. Oh right, I can shoot. Covered in bastards, this is like reach all over again. Did he just say this is like reach all over again? Because this is not as bad as reach. I was there, dude. This is a picnic. Oh my god. You're coming to us. Oh god. They ramped off of us. You know, reach another example of how Halo does not have amazing female characters. Because the only female, the, the, the fucking Smurfette on, on Noble Team, Cat, has the most unceremonious and least badass dad. Because every other member of Noble Team goes down fighting. Except Cat, who is unceremoniously shot in the brain. 
and it doesn't even make sense because it's a gun that doesn't isn't typically thought as being a one-shot kill. Because it appears to be from a needle rifle, if I remember correctly. And so, like, if three of them hit her and they exploded, it would make sense. Or if it was a different gun, like a carbine or a beam rifle that hit her, that would make sense. Yeah, scarabs, I love these things. I like quadraxis. The superior weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Anyway, Cat's death is essentially like that random shit that you turn on the kill cam for. Like, where the fuck did that come from? I have to turn on kill cam so I know where the fuck that came from. Did you say take the off ramp? I think he did. God, if only this was subtitled. Out of the vehicle, trooper. Let's go. Okay. Now all I need is a gun. I mean, a second gun. Veronica, wait here. Hey, I recognize this place. Let's secure that building. Yeah, we got zebras. Okay, I feel really good now. I've got two of my favorite guns in Halo. Hell yeah. Come to us. We'll cover you. Defend Engineer until Henley Phantom arrives. I don't know why I'm doing this now. Maybe I've just been recording too long. Getting a little loopy. Okay. Yep. This part is... Well, this is the last stand. And it's certainly the final stand. I don't know how hard it's going to be on normal. But I most recently saw this on Legendary All Skulls On. So. We're gonna have a bad time, potentially? Look at his hooves. Why are they so sh. Oh, yeah, they're knees. Yes, they mend. So, um. I don't know if you guys have heard of Gears of War. It's a, it's a game by this idiot named Cliffy B. Oh, I got the hiccups. I drank too fast. Gears of War. Um. Oh, cool. I'll, uh, I'll take that, actually. Gears of War is known for having a mode called Horde Mode. You know, it's a survival thing where you just fight a whole bunch of dudes. And, you know, you have waves. It gets harder and harder. You know, you, you've probably seen it. If, if, if you play a video game, you, you have probably seen something like this. You know, a survival mode. An endless mode. Just something of that general flavor. The reason I mention this is because um, this game is when Halo introduced a new staple, which is a game mode called Firefight. And in it, you play Horde Mode. It is essentially just Horde Mode from Gears of War. A game that I haven't played, but I've honestly always been interested in, but I'll get into that later. But yeah, um, Firefight is just Horde Mode from Gears of War. You know, you, you've, got a, you've got a specific special map for it. You can play it by yourself or online. It's not competitive, it's cooperative. Oh, wow. They, I didn't notice how quickly my health dropped. They were eating me alive. Anyone still see movement? Okay. That's not too bad of a uh, checkpoint to die. Didn't even break a sweat. Virgil, am I going to get more shields? Anyway, we're playing horde mode right now. We're playing firefight right now. You know, we, we, we've got, we've got the barracks, you know, we got a little place that we can stock up, refuel, pick ourselves up, get new weapons, change out our weapons, refill ammo for ones that we want. 
We've got health packs. We've got enemies dropping in. And so it's kind of weird. Because, like, they were already putting Firefight in the game. Did they just want to make sure that people played it? They're like, hey, we're going to wet your whistle. Here's Firefight. You know, th this, is, this is what Firefight's like. Not sure if you like Firefight? Well, here it is. But, like, if they bought Halo ODST, I would assume that they at least had a little interest in Firefight. Or they were interested enough in Halo that they wouldn't care, but would probably end up playing Firefight anyway. Damn it. I just got bogged down there. It sucked. Probably could have saved this uh, uh, this uh, here rocket launcher to uh, shoot at more important targets. I took out brutes with it, but that's not really what the intended use is. I suspect. So yeah, this is this is if 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 you haven't seen firefight and you're not gonna go look up a video, this is what firefight is like. It is, it is, like, you guys get back to a wall. You gotta run around and shoot fools. I only wish that there were more guys. Like, mostly because I hate Virginia. And I hate Buck to a smaller extent. And so, like, I wish that we could have the whole team here. Like, if, if this was, like, and, and from the start, I know, because, I know. Because, like, if this, if this is the moment that the whole ODST team, team, team oh, fucking wow. That was just embarrassing. What the hell? Yeah, if this is the moment that the whole ODST team comes together and it's essentially to herald in Firefight and to be like, hey, you want this moment? Go play Firefight. Turn the camera to it quickly. Hey guys. <sighs> yeah, overall, my complaints about this game are not many. And like, I honestly find myself wishing that parts that people hated went on longer. Then laws in the kitchen again. Getting some popcorn for breakfast by the sounds of it. Alright. Okay. Now what? Checkpoint done. Good thing I'm reloaded. Can I get one of yours? A beam rifle. Come on, give me a beam rifle. You know, if I had a gun, maybe it'd be something like one of these, you know? I assume not a gas-powered alien carbine. On the highway. That's not good. But, you know, just a simple just a simple rifle. Something I could use for hunting, I imagine. I've never been a hunter, and I don't really have interest, but I imagine that I could be always had a respect for animals, and I believe that one should use them correctly. I've also believed that if you can't kill something, you shouldn't eat meat. Because some people are like, eating meat's immoral, and if you do it, you're saying. But, and the, and, but the thing is, a lot of people eat meat and just don't think about it. But I think that people who do eat meat should consider that, you know, an animal's life had to be taken to get this bread, if you will. Oh, interesting. I didn't even know about this area. A lot of sniper. 
like the sound of that. taken an animal to do so. You know? And it doesn't make you a bad person. A wolf is not bad for a cunt. Oh boy. It's yeah, hey Buck, how about you get some of that, huh? You have signed the Covenant's death warrant with your death. Speaking of eating meat, do you think it'd be immoral to eat some of the Covenant? I think that you could probably eat a brute, but it would be pretty gross. You know, there's a term that I heard once that is... Uh, it's not meat. It's not cannibalism, because cannibalism is a human eating another human. It is the term for a sapient being eating another sapient being, which is, you know, so like cannibalism, but separated by species. What are you waiting for, Trooper? Phantom, now! I'm looking for it. Jeez. Because obviously, like, in an alien, uh, like a, like a sci-fi thing, you can have a sapien species eat a different species that is still sapient. Virgil's just hugging the floor here. Up, up. Yeah, we did it. All right, let's turn that up. Get my fucking mic again. That thing's safe? Long as it don't get hit. I'm just being really wanton about the whole friggin' shit and doing my massive stuff, huh? Turn this down. God damn it! Move! Wow, nuts. Bro. You're being so mean to him. Why? Couldn't you just gently push him? Like, I'm I'm sure that Miss Dare say? yanking on his little face the hell of a night. All right, I think that's the I think that's game. Epilogue. There we go. Urban warfare badge. Easy does it. We went through hell for that. Give him some meds, would you? It's important. It knows things. Hey, Cuddy. I wasn't talking about the alien. Go to hell, Romeo. Mickey, I'm sending you a very special co-pilot. Oh, come on! I don't want one of those things in here. It won't bite, and unlike you, it knows what to tell those cruisers to keep them off our tail. I think they're too busy to care. Looks like they found what they're looking for. About you. What are we? Um. Win this war? Then ask me that again. Yeah, like, Buck, time and place, idiot. I don't want to be a killjoy here, but the planet is literally. The planet is in the process of being glassed. Uh, dude, minor details here. But look what's happening. So if, I get to, if it's in this cutscene, or, or a 
opening cutscene. But in one of these, you can see a little black speck that is uh, where Chief is. I think it's the opening cutscene. Just notice I turned my own microphone volume down instead of uh, the game audio. One month after drop. I like that they keep that consistent. It's pleasant. It's like, hey. Lord Hood may have given you clearance, but it was my op and it's my interrogation. We only captured one. It's very delicate. Don't worry. I know what the aliens like. It has access to the Covenant battle net? Limited, but yes. We're not entirely sure how it manages a remote connection to the... What? Whoa, stand down, stand down! Sergeant Major, please. It's extremely flammable. The brutes. The bastards who put bombs on your buddies and killed millions of my people. Oh. There's bombs on them, huh? They're digging a mighty big hole. So maybe they just You're blow up. tell me exactly what they're looking for. And then... You're gonna help me stop them. Yeah. I love that shit. Oh, they're so cool. I love this corny ass, big, dumb fucking f friendship between Alien and Gruffman. Wow. Okay, I. Guess I was expecting more of a big finish. Let me turn the audio down, and I guess I'll go see what I unlocked. Oh, wait, is it career? Is this what I'm supposed to be unlocking? Who is this guy? I don't remember him. Yeah, ODST helmet. I love that shit. Hell yeah. Okay, customization. Like, look at this. I, w I wish that I could play as, as uh, fucking ODSTs more. I don't know why I have this set to... Like, I guess the colors are a little dark. A little, you know, bland. Reach. Helmlet. That's cool. I had an action figure of a yellow and blue Halo 3 Flight Elite. Let's see if there's anything else I unlocked.
Hell yeah. It's got a little plumber. A little plumber's helper. It's cute. I like it. It's funny. I'm sure that's what they wanted, right? Slayer. Keep it clean. Superintendent. Nice. Actually, wait. Considering that that goes up there, maybe it should be something elfy. Something elfy. Come on, Alfred. Oh, fuck. I hope that this is the exciting finale that you were all hoping for. All right. Well, that's Halo 3 ODST, everyone. I have beaten the game. Slasso, wow. So vehicle rally is all the vehicle missions. Arena battles are what's arena battles? Coastal highway. I guess everything where you basically play firefight, huh? Hoofing it. Everything where you're just really just going. Mombasa streets. Oh, it's just all the Mombasa levels back to back. That's cute. Non-stop action. Easy campaign, heroic and legendary campaign. Maybe I'll do that later. But for now, that is Halo 3 ODST. An experience that I think overall is a little flawed. But the game is still very good. And you know what? We got Sergeant Johnson getting a cigar lit for him by an alien, and that's great. So, I have been Alfred. That was Halo 3 ODST. And now I either go record the other three Halo games that I was supposed to record in order, because you can even see... I was playing through Halo 1 again because I haven't completed this uh, on, on, completed it on this save file. I haven't played Halo 2. I haven't started Halo 3 on the save file. And like, I just really wanted to play ODST. And then I guess I'll wait until fucking Halo 4 and 5 come out. Are we even getting those? It only goes to four. Five isn't even on this list. Well. Um. Yeah. I guess I'll catch you guys later. Uh, thanks for sitting through the wet fart of an ending and the rest of the uh, ODST playthrough. I have been Alfred. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you again.